Hello, hello, and welcome to a very special episode. You see, tomorrow airs the third episode of Vault Hunter's greatest game show, Mastermind, starring me and Hellfire Mage. And in it, I'm tasked with running a vault as fast as I can, only with the loot I've gotten from trivia questions, and I suck at trivia. So today, I'm going to see if I could beat a level zero vault with three obelisks, just like on the show, with nothing. No armor, no weapons, no food, no blocks. Just a single skill point in the heal, because in the real game, we get five skill points. But that's just too easy for me. So jumping into the vault, we get extremely lucky right off the bat with an azalea theme. Which is lucky not just because of the abundance of wood in the design, which we're going to need a bit of, because of course we kind of have to just play Minecraft, uh, but these themes spawn diamond rooms, with diamond ore all over the walls, and the wood that you saw me get, I'm going to use to make a pickaxe, just to quickly upgrade our way to stone tools, it's the best tools I can get without having to actually loot any of the chests, and the minor extra damage, as well as a little bit of mining speed from the axe, is going to be extremely helpful in collecting a little bit more wood should I need it, and of course, you know, not punching mobs to death at my fists is a welcome change. I'm not going to be using the stone axe despite the fact that it technically has higher damage just because I'm focusing a lot more on speed and maneuverability and I want to be able to hit faster rather than slower and harder because especially at these lower levels mobs don't really take a lot of hits so using a stone axe more or less just slows me down overall. So what I'm looking for out of these wooden chests is food, blocks, which come in the form of scaffolding, gold nuggets, as well as iron nuggets, which I hope to upgrade into tools. And you can see that netherite scrap is really, really lucky because you actually have the means of making netherite uh, gear inside of the vaults, especially with the azalea theme. You don't technically need the azalea theme to get diamonds, but really lucky that we're at one in a four of netherite scrap because having a netherite chest plate will give us a good buff in defense, which you'll see later we're definitely going to need need. So I spend a lot of the vault uh, mostly looking for obelisks as well as ornate chests. Right now what I'm running around and looking for is ornate chests which have a much higher chance to spawn full iron ingots in, in high amounts as well as the iron nuggets and there's a very rare possibility that we actually find vault gear that we could roll and wear in the vault and uh, right here yeah super unlucky um, we get a skeleton elite and as scared as I I was of the thing I figured if I was gonna be a gamer I had to defeat the skeleton elite but the worst thing happened the only skeleton that spawned with a bow was a stray look at that the slowness arrows and everything uh, but after a bit of uh, scary hits that we took um, we do eventually defeat the elite and I will say that although we have a single point in to heal it is not very effective at healing you get one heart back and it takes quite a bit of time to recharge that heal ability. Um, so any hit that we take is pretty bad, especially because we have, at this point, no armor. So check this out. We find some gilded chests, which I pass by pretty quickly, which are exciting because of the gold they contain. And here we get a plus two regen pylon, which is probably one of the best pylons that we could actually, well, it is the best pylon that we can get our hands on. Um, and you can see I'm going over here, like I said, to loot these gilded chests because they contain the gold necessary to make netherite ingots. Um, and although I don't get any of these gilded chests, I think on this one I do forget to do it, but they can have mystery boxes, which are actually really, really good to get because mystery boxes can contain a pretty significant amount of diamonds for level zero. But uh, right now, I'm just looking for ornate chests, which I find speak of the devil, and it's very exciting because these obviously are going to be what is going to be gearing us up. That was a pretty bad one, which is unfortunate. That was a pretty bad one, which is unfortunate. And if I remember correctly, this last ornate chest was a little better. Okay, that one actually had a netherite scrap in it, although I wonder if I forgot to pick that up because I think I do forget to pick that up, don't I? No. Okay, I go back for it. Very exciting. Okay, so that's two out of four netherite scrap, and we actually have enough for three ingots of iron, which I think I start with a bucket no i start with a sword no nope, wait oh i was indecisive uh i break the crafting <laughs> i was panicky <laughs> i was very stressed out okay i do start with the bucket awesome and of course the bucket is really massive because it's going to give us a lot of downwards vertical maneuverability with bucket clutches um we do have to use honey in this theme but it's not any worse to bucket clutch with honey over anything else so uh very exciting that we have our first crafted tool 
not long after, we find more ornate chests, and these prove a lot more fruitful when it comes to iron, which is extremely exciting. Five ingots means I have enough for a sword and a pickaxe to mine the diamonds that I'll hopefully find, and we get our third out of four uh, netherite scrap, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, in some of my testing, I did not get that close to getting netherite. It's actually pretty rare. Uh, I make ourselves the iron pickaxe in anticipation for the diamond room, and I do believe I upgrade our damage with a sword. It's not really worth it in my mind to actually get iron gear because I'm really hoping for diamonds and not long after we get the pickaxe I actually find a diamond room and I don't need to tell you guys the drill you know how it is 24 diamonds for a full set of armor two diamonds for a sword and we are actually set pretty nice for a level zero vault which is what we're running that being said in uh, update eight which is what i did this video on you can't roll the guardians at level zero the game's not balanced for you fighting guardians at level zero so despite the fact that i am in a pretty good position with gear i'm still under level and you saw very briefly there i crafted up three ingots of gold and i have three netherite scrap and coming up on an x mark room i decided against doing it um, and I know that you could actually see that this would have been a good X mark room. It would have gotten me very close to netherite. It's possible I could have gotten Valkyrie out of it. But I was worried about how long it would take for me to dig down there without any affinities or with without a decent um, tool in my inventory. And I figured I probably should just start looking for obelisks. I don't have netherite on me, but I didn't particularly feel like I needed it. So at this point, I begin primarily searching for obelisks over searching for gear and tools. And as luck would have it, it did not take a long time for me to find the first obelisk. First, I check out this pylon for bonus hearts. It's all right. Here, it only gives me an extra half heart of health. So, it's not the biggest thing in the world. And uh, we spawn all arbalists, which I wasn't sure whether it was better or worse to get all arbalists, but it felt worse. Because I'm slow very slow comparatively to them and they have so much range it was very dangerous and you can see they knocked us down very quickly to half health and i knew that in combination with the brutes i would be in a big spit of trouble and i the next obelisk was a four fight and the one after was a five fight so i immediately kind of started stressing and you can see I'm, I'm looking around very frantically and now I'm really 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 hoping for that last piece of gold and that last piece of netherite scrap because I'm feeling a lot more like I need it. So this of course was very exciting getting the semi-large uh, gilded chest thing with the three chests. I took a few hits trying to get to it but obviously we got all of the gold we needed but the last thing would be the netherite you can see here i skip on a mystery box because i didn't need it at the time so I, I i earlier i assumed i was just dumb and forgot to take it but nope we had full diamond there's nothing else you really need diamonds for before i could find the diamonds however i found the next obelisk and we still had 10 minutes left but i was beginning to kind of have that internal monologue of okay if i skip this we might not find three because ultimately one of the big things is once i had the netherite stuff the biggest issue was going to be time more than the enemies um so i wanted to make sure to clear the area and i know that i was checking around for netherite scrap but i don't believe that i found it before i decided that i should probably just fight the obelisk and bad luck again four more obelisks, but this time they were much more clumped up and I was a little bit more prepared for how it would feel to fight them. And you can see actually in diamond armor, they don't do a terrific amount of damage. So as long as I rush them so they're not hitting me with the ranged attacks, I take a lot less damage. Though I still get to around about the same hearts and health. And I'm starting to doubt whether I can take five of them on. Especially if it's a mix of arbalists and roots so in my mind i'm both stuck between i only have nine minutes left i don't know if that's enough to find the obelisk without any hunter or maneuverability but i also am pretty afraid that without the netherite chest plate or any netherite piece of gear uh, i will not be able to survive the onslaught and luck did not favor me it seemed as i did find an obelisk before i found my last netherite scrap and in part i was also like speedrunning this vault because the mastermind game sure is a speedrun but right there super lucky that is the last netherite scrap you can see me doing a bit of a mouse celebration and i just need to pick up a few pieces of planks to make a smithing table because luckily we had exactly the perfect amount of iron to make the smithing table so extremely lucky and i decided to take my 
diamond chest plate and turn it into a netherite chest plate, which made me feel a whole lot more prepared for this final fight, which I pretty sure, yeah, I just jumped right into it after clearing out this little spawner here. And at this point, I was not feeling worried at all. We had two brutes, I think, and three arbalists. Um, and immediately the damage came in. I was taking so many hits. The netherite chestplate was not doing what I thought it was, and already here, this was the lowest we'd been. But with the last of the brutes destroyed and one of the arbalists stuck in a POI, this is when I knew we had victory. I had done it. I had defeated a vault with nothing. Not a single thing except for one skill point in to heal. I was officially a gamer. I cracked open my boss crate and uh, noticed that that was the glow of a hammering jewel. And like, what the hell? Why couldn't I get that on my single player world? 12 size plus one hammer size? Good lord. But after doing that vault, I felt like it was maybe too easy. So I reset everything and went into this vault without heal you can see there's no abilities under my mana bar i have nothing again and this was the true challenge could i defeat a level zero vault without any form of healing besides pylons and perhaps golden apples if i got lucky the initial strategy was all the same and we actually got really lucky right off the bat with a piece of netherite scrap super early on and uh, you can also see the theme was again azalea so i was feeling pretty excited i figured with the diamond armor we should be doing okay um, but ultimately i knew that i really needed to avoid all hits as much as possible i did not have a lot of bandwidth for hits because every single time i got touched in this vault it was pretty much permanently etched into my soul unless i could find a regen pylon which are common but rare in the early game or if i could find all the ingredients for a golden apple but that was extremely unlikely because golden apples cost a lot of gold here i found a green pylon picked it up without thinking and realized those four bonus hearts are completely useless why don't they give you four full hearts like why 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 is it like, oh, here's a buff, you you need to heal yourself now. <laughs> yeah, these, these four bonus hearts did not do much, but that Vault Apple got me excited. Immediately, I was like, all right, hopefully we can find a lot of gilded chests or perhaps like a wild restroom or more preferably a library room. And there was our second piece of netherite scrap. So I was actually feeling really confident about this run, even though it was kind of crazy. These gilded chests proved to be really big for me. Not only did they have the gold that I would eventually need for a netherite ingot, but they had mystery boxes. Both of them had one mystery box, which was super exciting, and we got garbage out of it. <laughs> Laramar and emeralds are quite useless inside of the vault. Um, outside of it, the Laramar and emeralds would be pretty good. And there was my first hit. I felt so stupid for taking that. That heart was etched into my soul unless i got really really lucky and immediately with just one heart gone i was doubting myself this part of the run however is my absolute favorite we got so lucky three iron ingots in that one and two netherite scrap in that ornate chest meaning just five minutes into this run we had everything we needed for netherite gear except for diamonds that should have been a hit it sounded like a hit um but i didn't take one we bucket up, we get our iron crafted up. Uh, I didn't really want to craft up the gold because I didn't have any guarantee of getting the diamond gear necessary. So I continued on feeling conflicted. I was really worried about that heart, but I was super excited that we were already in position for another right ingot. And continuing the luck, I found some mystery boxes and both of them dropped diamonds, netting us 13 diamonds right off the bat and right past it was a diamond room that I was 13 diamonds in and although I didn't have the necessary resources to make an iron pickaxe I had the diamonds so I crafted up a diamond pickaxe and went to absolute town on the diamond room I crafted a chest plate I crafted a sword I was extremely excited and uh, I also had all the resources necessary to make us the netherite chest plate and I was feeling a lot more comfortable and if things couldn't get any better, I found the regen pylon so that heart of damage that I had taken was erased. It was so much nicer to be full health, full armor, netherite. It would we were we were swimming. I was so confident. It took us only two minutes, three minutes to find the first obelisk. And I was a little anxious. I wanted to see if I could do a little bit of setup. I was planning on summoning them and then dropping down and hopefully getting them stuck on the naturally spawning water. But I couldn't get the water bucket to spread. 
and I figured I was in a pretty good spot, so it'd be all right. I just wanted to prepare a little runway for me to get down easier, and uh, five of them was going to be tough, but I figured it was doable. Um, however, they were pretty good. The Arbalists were a much bigger problem when you couldn't heal, and I hadn't thought of that. And with three of the Brutes and one Arbalist just beaning me, yeah. And the failed Bucket Clutch pretty much consigned my death sentence, uh, and that was that. Alas, it seems that having no access to healing is pretty difficult. I could have tried this over and over again until I got a really lucky run, but to be perfectly honest, getting full diamond and another right piece that early on was the lucky run. I could have gotten more gold or gilded chests or special rooms, but to be perfectly honest, it just didn't sound fun to, like, grind on my own. Maybe as a stream? Let me know if you'd be interested. But uh, it seems that I can beat level 0 vaults with nothing but a single skill point into heal, although it's difficult, and hopefully that gives me enough power to be Vault Hunter's first mastermind, Victor! Which is coming out April 29th, April 29th, which is tomorrow when this video uploads, but if you're in the future, like a time traveler, go back in time and watch the video. It's been such a blast to be a part of this project. Hellfire has worked so, 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 so hard, along with an amazing team of people and it would mean the world to me if you would watch his videos subscribe to my channel and let me know if you like this challenge style content trying something new here so if it's working you gotta tell me or else i'm not gonna do more of it all right well that's enough rambling from me let's go thank the sponsors of this channel our channel members goodbye everybody